What's up everyone, Jason A. Strange 69 back once again with another diecast review. Tonight we'll be taking a look at the Kyle Busch 2004 number 5 low SpongeBob SquarePants movie Monte Carlo 124 scale platinum series bank by Action Performance. Before we get to the diecast itself, let's take a look at the packaging. It is a really nice uh, box, uh, as you'd expect from this uh, era of action diecast. On the top here, we have Action Racing Collectible, still the choice of champions. 124 scale stock car limited edition dot collectible. Team Lowe's Racing. Of course, we have Nickelodeon, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie in theaters November 19th. Got Kyle Busch and his simulated signature along with the number five. And of course, Patrick Starr right there. This side of the box here features the officially licensed by NASCAR. Of course, got SpongeBob Squares, SquarePants as the crew chief, the SpongeBob movie logo, and a render of the car itself and action branding right there. This end of the box or side of the box once again features the SpongeBob SquarePants movie logo, number five, Kyle Busch, Team Lowe's Racing Action, Hendrick 20 Years. Of course, we got SpongeBob and Patrick Starr right there and their seaweed mustaches. This car is actually pretty limited. Uh, of course, right there you got the Platinum Series Bank logo and the production sticker that says Kyle Busch, number five, low SpongeBob SquarePants, 2004, Monte Carlo, one of only 276. The part number for this particular release is 107509. So yeah, that is the box. Now we'll go ahead and take a closer look at the die cast itself. I got this car from my little brother for a Christmas gift, so thank you to him if he's watching this review. All right, now we'll go ahead and take a look at this car. It's a really nice one. If you're a Kyle Busch fan or collect banks from that action made, this is a one car I highly recommend picking up. So here on the hood, we have Lowe's, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie in theaters November 19th. Patrick Starr, the Chev Chevrolet Bowtie. Of course, got the number five right there. Hendrick Motorsports on that headlight. Got Monte Carlo down there on the front bumper. This is a real metal grill as they put, did back then. Go ahead and open up the uh, hood. Does feature engine detail as you would expect on this uh, generation of NASCAR diecast. I don't know how well you can see in there, but it's in there. Nothing on the inside of the hood. For contingencies on the front here, we have Moog, Cleavite, Cop Cam, Simpson, Edelbrock, Sunoco, and Wix. Of course, we got the yellow for the valence right there. Goodyear above both front tires. For contingencies, we have NASCAR Bush Series, Pole Award, Mechanic Award, Federlite, Autometer, Penske Racing Shocks, 3M, MSD, Lincoln Motors, Holly, Goodies, and Ray Bestis. Of course, we've got the number five right there on the door. And then Kyle Bush right here up on the roof row. Got the number five on the roof with functioning roof flaps just because it's a bank. It does still have functioning roof flaps. Of course, we've got SpongeBob right there looking scared from Dennis on the quarter panel right there. So here on the B post for contingencies, we have the Hendrick 20th Anniversary Quaker State Ordaya GMAC. Down here we have Briggs & Stratton, Shopback, Gladiator Garage Works, and Pella. Of course we have, let's see if we can focus, SpongeBobMovie.com right there on the C post. Lowe's above the rear tires. Dennis here on the uh, quarter panel along with Quaker State, Freightliner, Ditech.com, 800 Ditech1, and Marrow.org. On the deck lid, we have Lowe's, and of course the SpongeBob SquarePants movie logo. The deck lid on this car does not open since this is where the change goes. You got the coin slot right here in the rear window. The car does have a rubber window net. Back here on the rear TV panel, we have Quaker State on the left uh, taillight, five on the right taillight. We've got Dennis, Lowe's, SpongeBob, Lowe'sRacing.com, the Rookie Stripes, and the Chevrolet Bowtie. Right side of the car, all the contingencies are the same, but we do have SpongeBob here. Peek, uh, look out his window on his pineapple house. Of course, Lowe's. 
got Patrick Star blowing bubbles right there. Bubbles even go up onto the roof. Number five. So you can see the difference on paint scheme, at least for the uh, right side versus left side. Really nice car. Bottom of the car does feature a really nice detailing for chassis. Got sticker tires on all four corners. Working steering. Really nice engine detail on the, and transmission detail on the bottom. There's the key for the key compartment. Drive shaft detail, truck arms, rear, uh, rear end detail, working suspension. Nope, not on this one. There's where you put the key in to remove the change. It is held on by four screws, two in the back, two in the front. So yeah, so Kyle Busch, uh, he drove this car in the October 15th, 2004 Lowe's presents the SpongeBob SquarePants Movie 300 Busch Series race at the Lowe's Motor Speedway. Kyle started the race in 18th place and finished fifth in fifth place after leading 22 of the 200 laps in this Rick Hendrick owned Chevrolet Monte Carlo. So that, that is my review of the Kyle Busch 2004 number five Lowe's SpongeBob SquarePants movie Monte Carlo 124 scale Platinum Series Bank. If you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. Liking my reviews helps out the channel a lot. If you like, you can also subscribe. You don't have to, but subscribing to the channel helps out quite a bit too. You can click the bell for notifications. I post new diecast reviews every week, so be sure to check that out by clicking the bell. You can find me primarily on Instagram at JasonAstrain69. So thanks for watching. Have a great night, everyone. See you next time for an all-new Diecast Review. Bye.